Hello, Caden. How are you today, bud? Hey, Jared. I'm doing well, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Absolutely. Um, you know, we watched another interesting movie. We did. Um, AI, Artificial Intelligence, directed by Steven Spielberg. Absolutely. What did you think? Man, tonally, a very weird tone. I don't know if it's a visual thing or if it's just an overall tone of the film. Very, um, I don't know, the whole time I felt while I was watching it, it was very gloomy, very dark, very foggy. There wasn't much clarity in the sense that you didn't know how everybody was feeling. It was kind of a somber feel, the whole film. There was not a whole lot of too many happy moments. Um, and I'm sure that's that was a creative decision. Um, and, it, and once you understand the film, you know, you understand, you know, it's a basically Pinocchio is abandoned by his family and uh, has to find his own way so, so he can live with his mom and be loved by his mom. And uh, the whole question, at least when I was going back and forth, is was he alive the whole time? Was that guy at the robotics just that good? Or was it after that the robot imprinted onto her? Um that it became alive or was it never alive was it just programming very good programming and uh you know he lived a thousand a couple thousand years and he got one last day with his mom so i liked it very um for those reasons though maybe not my favorite um of the films that we watched um it has nothing to do with spielberg or the acting at all i guess it's just the tone of the film very somber and sad and uh um and creatively, I don't, I didn't quite understand all the decisions that were made. But that's just me. How do you feel? Well, I agree. It does have a darker tone. Yeah. Uh, generally, I like uh, movies with a darker tone or a darker theme. Sure. But this wasn't done right. This was. Yeah. I think it was gloomy in all the wrong places. Yeah. It it was not like Dark City. Oh no. 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 Um, no. no. Yeah. Not. It didn't feel the same. It felt. I don't know. You don't feel you don't come away with that some sense of satisfaction or. I thought like visually it was very good. Sure. Like the sets. Absolutely. The yes. Design of the robots. Yeah. They put a lot of work into that. Work into yes. yeah. Set design. Yeah. Uh, it was a great combination of CGI and makeup and prosthetics and yep. puppetry. Absolutely seamless. It, it was yeah. very shot very well, like you said. Yeah. The visuals were well. So. Visually, it was shot very well. It was a very good film. As you would expect from a Spielberg film. Right. Yeah. One you know, Spielberg the, nailed of, it in terms of, you one know, of the cinematography greats. and, and yeah. the whole... Pretty much everything except for... It was just, like I said, it's the just story. too dark in all the wrong places. The story was, was um, very weird. I don't know. Now Keep those, going. I'm sorry, I don't know if you knew, Caden. Uh -huh. uh, this movie was based on a book. I don't know if I told you that. I had no idea. Okay, so the film is based on a book, which kind of explains its its pacing. Okay. It has the pacing of a of a book. Yes. Of a okay, novel. that makes a lot more sense. Okay. Um, I apologize. I thought I told you that. When no, we I mean, watched it, but it makes more sense. Still doesn't yeah. change my mind on anything, but it makes more sense. Now. No, right, yeah. right. So, pace wise, I, I thought it was good. I thought sure. it was a good adaptation from book to film. Sure. I didn't read the book, so I don't know if. It was it, if it was originally that dark, or they added that. You don't know the source tone. material, basically. Because yeah. um, originally, the person supposed to direct this movie was uh, uh, Stanley Kubrick. Oh, he died, right? And he died yeah. before they could film it. Uh, so I wonder if he added those dark tones. I <laughs> I don't know if he did. So maybe you think some of the tones in the wrong places was a clash of creative differences from the two directors. If Kubrick, his input before his death, and then Spielberg trying to honor Kubrick and honor the source material, but also being true to himself, kind of made for this tonally very weird film. You know, I haven't heard that, but that's a possibility. It would make sense to me at any rate. And then again, this could yeah. be one of those cases where we're both wrong. Yeah. Um, that's just how I feel. I mean, it could be totally just all how they wanted it to be. You know what I mean? And, yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. you remember how, if it did well at the box office, or... You know, I don't recall. Or if it flopped. A relatively newer film, I guess, compared to some of the films we've watched previously. Um, I don't recall. Huh. I, I didn't bother to look into that. Yeah. I, You know, I really don't look at that stuff. Yeah. I don't look at 
was it a hit? Was it, you know, because you know it was a hit if you saw it on the news sure. and people were talking about it. Yeah. And you don't know if that's hype or what's going that, on there. Yeah, it just adds context to the film. Yeah, the so the film. I just look at, did I like the story? Yeah. Did I like the acting? As far as the story goes, no, I liked I liked the acting as well. I think I forgot the, the main great. the main character. I forget his name. Uh, the young uh, boy, David. 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 Uh, Haley Joel Osment played David. He's he did a phenomenal. beautiful job. Yes, great great actor. Uh, really, he makes you feel like you're hanging out with a robot, and it, it's almost weird. You know, I mean, how he, he's you know that he's AI, but also he's his undying love for the for the for his parents, especially his mother. Um. And some of the problems that they have with their when they get their real son back, it's explained very clearly in the beginning. You know, hey, don't imprint unless you really want them because right. it's going to last forever. You know, what I mean, the way we program yeah. them, and then and I guess it adds more context at the end when you find out that he's modeled off the, the dead son of the robotics. Yes. Um, yeah, and so and that makes a lot of sense too. Sure, um, and adds another layer of somberness. You know, what I mean, he's basically a dead child walking around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to replace the dead child that they died. Yeah, you know, kinda... it's a double. It's just layered on, man. It's yeah. a lot of somberness. Um, I felt like, like I said, the story. You said it had good pacing. I, I, I understood it. Um, I don't know. You, you feel sad for you. It's like a Pinocchio story almost. It well, uh, it is the Pinocchio story. And it's almost so one to one. They were mentioned yeah. it so many times. I feel like it might. I don't know about you, but I feel like Pinocchio is a more enjoyable film. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just an updated look on Pinocchio. No, I thought yeah. the whole sequence of him, this very dystopian sense when he is kicked out of his home by his mom and he has to find the flesh fair and, uh, you know, the sex robot and everything like that. Uh, right. I thought that was very creepy. Uh, the whole sea in Manhattan pretty, pretty much flooded and yeah. only the skyscrapers are able to were able to survive. Um, very uh, dystopian esque feel. Yeah. Um, so that's yeah. kind of a cool. They did that very well, in my opinion. Yeah, and I like that part um, of it. It's like everything else was done right. Yeah. Cinematography, the set design, the, sure. even the the reality that were were yes. shown. Yes, and the, the actors did a very good job of yeah. acting the script out. Right. It's just I think it comes back to the tone of the script. And it has nothing to do with the actors, but really the yeah. the top head the producers and the directors, their yeah. influence on it made it feel uh, like again totally tonally off. Um, yeah, I I agree with you. Um, um, yeah, there's a more in depth uh, analysis of this film, and I agreed with the analysis. Okay, but whether you do an analysis or not, it doesn't change the fact that it's a darker film and in the wrong way. Yeah. Awkwardly, and and the and the whole getting his mother back, but only for a night, and she's confused, but he can't tell her anything, and he's yeah. just going on like nothing's gonna happen. And it's just like you said, it's 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 in the wrong way, um, yeah, emphasized. And uh, and when it ends, you're you're really sad. You're not left man. feeling complete or relieved. No, because David's story is incomplete. Yeah. Uh, even yeah. even before that point where he goes down. You know, the sex... Uh, I think Jude Law is the character for the other robot. Right. This, this is a pleasure robot. He gets snatched up by the cops, and David dives, and you think the cops are kind of after him. You know, they're going to catch him right. almost, and he's he sees his uh, fairy godmother, you know, and he goes down, and it's the statue, and and the Ferris wheel at Coney Island just kind of falls on the thing, and it's just him and Teddy there. And uh, it says, you know, he sat there for 2,000 years until the batteries... Uh, you know, I mean, it's like, well, dang, that's a long time. Like, yeah. nobody went looking for him. Like, it just feels incomplete. And then all of a sudden, we have these alien robots. Are they alien? So, are they robots? What, is is it explained? To answer your question on that, there's a behind the scenes documentary. Okay. And I'll have you look at it. Sure. Uh, they explain in that documentary that the robots at the end are the advanced robots left over by humans. Got it. And David. They like David so much because he's a relic from when humans were around. Yes, okay. And they're trying to dig that up. But they look too alien, and it's not very explained. No, they don't look robotic. They look alien. Yeah. Um, I mean, they are robots. You can tell that. But they're alien robots. They don't yeah. se seem like human robots. Uh, yeah, like you and said. they're supposed to be human robots, I guess. It makes sense, I guess. 
it all makes sense, but it still feels weird. Like we come yeah. we're coming back to, it's two thousand years removed. Ice, the world has been frozen over. The oceans have been frozen solid. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they're excavating. Do they have a society? So I'm assuming that they have reached uh, artificial intelligence to the full right. extent that they can uh, live and understand and all. The, they're fully alive, quote unquote. Um, but they just look foreign. You know what I mean? They, yeah. They've lost all their human influence. But yeah. apparently from the behind the scenes, there are direct influences of humankind. Yes. Just AI that's advanced and evolved, I guess, if you want to use that word. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. A couple thousand years. Um, but they have the technology to bring back things, but only for a day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you would think an advanced yeah. AI would figure that out. They're floating around They'd on these Lego why. blocks. You know what I mean? Their aircraft yeah. just kind of disassembles and moves yeah. on. So it's not a whole lot of explained... And it would be okay if that was kind of like the end, but we spend so much time there, maybe 20 minutes or so with these aliens and yeah. David, and then they're appealing to David like he's a human, you know what I mean? And it's just, I don't know, like you said, it's, it's some of those things are misplaced. Yeah, it's just... And kind of leave the f- viewers feeling emotionally confused. Yeah. Um, yeah. At least for me anyway, it was, and it unresolved, you know what I mean? Because he gets his mom back. Yeah. But she died, so did they murder her? It's just very weird. I think you the know, ending was more to serve David. Yeah. And you're not supposed to serve the character. You're supposed to serve the audience. Yes. And it doesn't do that. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, so, I don't know. Like you said, it is, it's great in a lot of different ways that you, how yeah. you expect it to be. Um, but the story, at least from a Steven Spielberg-influenced film, falls very far short from some of his classic films. In my yeah. opinion, anyway. It does. It does. Um, and it, it's never really explained how advanced David is, because he's the main AI. Um, you know, the flesh fair, you kind of get a glimpse of how humanity feels, at least lower level humanity. You have these very rich scientists who want to keep... Right. But the world's dying, and humankind is dying, and they feel like they're being replaced. So they're very angry at the robots. Right. So my question is, were all those robots alive? Because it felt like it. Yeah. It feels like you're hunting down... Illegal immigrants, that's what it felt like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and and capture them all up and then just disassembling them. It seemed like they all had sentience. It is a commentary on human history. Sure. That throughout history that has happened yeah. through various cultures. And, um, but, it, um, so, I don't know, it doesn't answer the question very well for David, or maybe it doesn't need to. But, uh, very, I guess I'll say this in another way, an ab- it's left up for guessing and abstraction, but it's almost too much. Yes. It's too much guessing on our part. And yes. so then it leaves just people confused. Which yeah. you don't want to be confused. You know what I mean? You can have speculation, no. but to be emotionally and tonally confused about things is probably not a good place you want to leave people uh, when your movie's over. But I'm sure we're not the only ones that feel that way. But anyway, those are my thoughts on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I Well, Caden, I wish this movie was better for us both. Yeah. You know, it happens, man. It, yeah. You can't please everybody. I'm sure there's somebody out there who absolutely loves it. Um, I don't yeah. think we're being... A, I don't think, feel like our criticism is unfair. I think we're being fair. I liked it in certain very other aspects. Yeah, um, every other Stone aspect Bell. I love. Yeah. So, um, it's just... it's. I guess it's one of those things where it could have been really good. Yeah, It could have been yes. a great movie, and it just... Because of those reasons, the, it the falls short. thing differently, yeah. that would have been... It would have been an all-time great, great, in my opinion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it falls short in those areas so far that it's like, man, you just end up feeling uh, disappointment more than, you know, dislike, I guess. But, uh, you know, you guys let us know what you think if you've seen it. If you haven't, um, give it a watch. I mean, uh, you could have a totally different opinion than we do. Um, if you have seen it already, let us know how you feel uh, with our assessment of it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Is there something that you would add that you feel like we missed out on? Let us know in the comments. Um, uh, as always, we appreciate you for staying around and watching these uh, videos um, and hanging out with us and uh, listening to us discuss um, our finite view of uh, movies and things that we like. Um, so if you have any suggestions for us, let us know. We appreciate you guys. All right, Kate, and we really appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you okay. again for doing this today. Absolutely. And hopefully our next movie will be 
a better one. We'll, we'll see. Be, be more cheerful, maybe. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> but I got another one for you to watch, and we'll see what you think of that. Absolutely. Again, Caden, thank you. And guys, as always, leave a like and subscribe, and take care. Thanks, guys. God bless.